Captured on camera, most of us are dozens of times a day. In Lancaster, a city with a lot of cameras, you commit a crime on the street and there's a good chance a camera caught you in the act. The city's most recent killing happened in a place with eyes everywhere. News 8's Meredith Jorgensen is here with a look at how cameras may solve this deadly shooting. Janelle, that's right. On the 100 block of South Prince Street, near the spot where Luis Sanchez was killed Monday, we walked around the intersection there and counted 18 video cameras. Two city cameras, at least three outside the business where he was shot, and then a dozen other cameras. Police say there's a good chance the killer was caught on one. For Lancaster City Police investigators, these days, one thing is for sure. If it happens in the public, um, we're getting video. A day after 29-year-old Luis Sanchez was shot in the face, his killer is still on the loose. But detectives have already accessed multiple cameras. We're always looking for our camera sources and video sources, and they're really all over the place. Some are easy to spot, like this Lancaster Safety Coalition camera. Others are tucked away. This one belongs to the business where it happened. A few are pointed exactly where you would want them to be. Cameras like these helped solve a hit and run in the city last year. All these video pieces really told the story for the investigator and he solved a crime that likely would have gone unsolved. It works, but it takes time. It can quickly expand to, say, dozens of cameras being looked at and then that equates to uh, can be hundreds of hours of video and it takes an investigator or an officer the time to just sit and, and watch through that. Even though it's time intensive, Lancaster City has a message to the criminals. We're going to follow up on it, even if it takes a couple of months, and we're going to track you down. So police say those Ring doorbell cameras or other brands like that, they're easy to install. The picture quality is excellent now, and they record audio, which detectives say is very helpful, especially in shooting investigations, because they can hear what happens during an incident in addition to seeing it. In uh, Lancaster, I'm Meredith Jorgensen, WGAL News 8.